Hello YouTube. I want to do a little follow-up video from my previous input delay video talking about all the different ways you can reduce input delay. All right, let's get into it. So first you're going to look up HID USB F and it'll be the first thing that comes up. Uh, this is the software that you'll use to overclock your controller. So you're going to go download zip with this extract to the folder I made this here. And it's already done. So once you're in here, you're going to want to extract here. Yes. Once you're there, driver, we're gonna hit setup as administrator. Change it from mice to all. And so this will show you everything you have. As you can see, there are already some things that are a thousand hertz, um, but my controller is not in here. So this is for wired. Um, if you're wireless, the overclock is going to be a little bit different. Um, so for wired people, that's what you're gonna do. My controller is not plugged in. I'm gonna plug it in now. And as you can see, the one that just popped up is going to be our controller. To even know what you're looking for, your controller is going to say something to the end of audio endpoint, headset, microphone, wireless controller, audio endpoint. Um, it it should it should have like mouse, microphone, and some something else. And so if it, if it has all of those attributes to it, then you'll know that you're in the right spot. So what you're gonna do, first go here, we'll hit install service, and then we'll go here, change it to a thousand, once again, install service, and then lastly, filter on device, yes, install service, and then just to make sure we did everything correctly, we'll hit restart. And it should all be saved. So with that, you'll be good to go. Um, now moving on to the Bluetooth side of things. All right. And if you're wireless, you're going to need uh, DS4 Windows. Uh, change it to 64 bit. Do this thing. Extract it. Going to use documents make a new folder called ds4 windows great extract it there for windows all you're going to need to do first have my controller it's paired connect it wonderful we're connected next click in here open this as you can see I have my controller connected. You can select from a bunch of different profiles. You can create different profiles, There's auto profiles, lots of other stuff. But suffice to say, we're just gonna go into the defaults and play around with the defaults. So when you go into it, it should look something like this and you can change a whole bunch of stuff. But what we're gonna wanna do is go over into these tabs and it should be in other. And then we'll have it emulated as a 360 controller. And if you scroll down, it'll have DS4BT Bluetooth pull rate. And it's currently set to four milliseconds, which just to double check and see if that's correct. It'll, it'll show you a live readout here. I'm gonna go in here. Uh, you can do a thousand or max one millisecond, I think. 1000 hertz is actually going to get you the better um, better result here. As you can see, now it's down to one millisecond with Bluetooth. Um, as you can see, I've connected it with Bluetooth. We can try, we can try going the other one, see if it does anything. Ah, yeah, actually, that one's pretty quick. Oh, it might be even a little bit quicker. I don't know. They're both, they're both pretty close. But anyway, 
once you're in here, you just go back, save, um, and now your controller is overclocked with Bluetooth. Um, there's also some other stuff you can edit in here. You can change your dead zones, your stick curves. You can change your dead zones independently. Um, there's just, just a whole bunch of stuff that you're able to do. You can change your stick curves to be fancy if you want to do that. And two stage. I mean, there, there's so much stuff that you can, that you can change in here. Um, you can rebind all your buttons if you want to do that. Um, it even gives you right here, like your dead zones and, uh, of how how efficient you are at setting your dead zones so like this is pretty good this one um, you might want to bump that up just like see over here it overhangs a little bit um but yeah that, that's basically the gist and then once you're in here you can basically run any game same as you would normally except now when you open the game it'll show uh that you're using a 360 controller which obviously you're not but it's just being emulated as such um, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful for y'all. Uh, if it was, leave a like, maybe a subscription. Um, I hope y'all have a nice day.